In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Ben and Jeremy, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends. May the Lord hear you on your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. So be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, pour out your grace on Jen and Jeremy, who come together before you, that they may be confirmed in love for one another. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Sirach. Blessed the husband of a good wife. Choice lengthened are his days. A worthy wife brings joy to her husband. Peaceful and full is his life. A good wife is a generous gift bestowed upon him who fears the Lord. Be he rich or poor, his heart is content, and a smile is ever on his face. A gracious wife that delights her husband, her thoughtfulness puts flesh on his bones. A gift from the Lord is her governed speech, and her firm virtue is of surpassing, surpassing worth. Choicest of blessings is a modest wife, priceless is her chaste soul. A holy and decent woman adds grace upon grace, indeed, no price is worthy of her temperate soul. Like the sun rising in the Lord's heavens, the beauty of a virtuous wife is the radiance of her home. The word of the Lord.
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but I do not have love, I am a resounding gong or clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but I do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but I do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interests, it is not quick-tempered, it does not give rude over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. of everything that we are. And those three virtues are especially shown as we celebrate the sacrament of matrimony. At the center is the virtue of faith. And faith has all kinds of ways that it is shown. First, of course, it comes as a gift from God. Faith in Him and His will and His word. But faith also is shown between human beings. 
And so one of the things that we are here to celebrate is the faith that Jen and Jeremy have discovered between themselves. With faith comes the second great virtue, the virtue of hope. And hope is being able to allow the future to occur knowing that God will see everything through and face that future with courage and joy. And so when we celebrate here today, we also celebrate hope in the future lives that Jen and Jeremy will live together. Now tying those two great virtues together is the one that their chosen readings express so beautifully, the virtue of love. In the first reading, we heard the author Sirach praise the unique love of God that is lived out by husband and wife. Not only between themselves, but in the family that they form. St. Paul today, as you heard in the second reading, in one of his most inspired moments, speaks of the characteristics of love. And I would recommend to Jen and Jeremy that every once in a while that you pull out that reading that you chose and read it again and again because St. Paul will continue to inspire you in the love that you express before God today. And so we celebrate the joy of the union between husband and wife, the union between two families, the beginning of new friendships. And so this day filled with sunshine is also filled with the virtues that God has so lavishly blessed us with. Faith, hope, and love in the lives of Jen and Jen. May the Lord give you his peace.
Increase and sanctify, Lord, the love of your servants, Jen and Jeremy, who gave each other these rings as a sign of faithfulness. They may always grow in the grace of the sacrament. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. sisters as we call to mind the special gift of grace and charity by which God has been pleased to crown and consecrate the love of Jen and Jeremy let us commend them to the Lord I would ask you to respond to our prayer Lord hear our prayer that these faithful Jen and Jeremy may newly joined in matrimony May always enjoy health and well-being. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that he will bless their covenant as he chose to sanctify the marriage at Cana in Galilee. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that they may be granted perfect and fruitful love, peace and strength, and that they bear faithful witness to the name of Christian. We pray to the Lord, that the Christian people may grow in virtue day by day, and that all who are burdened by any need may receive the help of grace from above, we pray to the Lord. Lord our that God's grace will be renewed by the Holy Spirit in all married persons here present, we pray to the Lord. Lord our Graciously pour upon of this husband and wife, O Lord, the spirit of your love, to make them one heart and one soul, so that nothing whatever may divide those you have joined, and no harm come to those you have filled with your blessings. We ask this through Christ our Lord. O God, who both by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might be no longer two but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery, that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man and the companionship they had at the beginning, you have endowed them with your blessings. Look now with favor on these your servants, who ask to be strengthened by your blessings. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter Jen and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May Jeremy entrust his heart to her so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, may he show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments. Made one in flesh, may they be blameless in all they do, and with the strength that comes from the gospel, May they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children 
and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children, and grant that reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, may they come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon all of us and remain with us, with us forever. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah.